Okay guys, today I decided to do a little experiment since Windows XP is no longer supported. And as you see I got it currently connected to the internet and this is yes a fresh installed Windows XP as I'm going to show it to you. And earlier I just said that it was had a few days left to um, activate. So I installed the OEM copy of XP Home Edition on this Dell Dimension 2400. Yeah, I just installed Service Pack 3 and the drivers, and this is going to be my victim. And you're going to see why. And I, plus, I even got it connected to this wireless adapter. This old wireless router from like 2003. And you see that? Down there? If I can put my arrow to it. It says that we got 30 days left to activate Windows. Now let's see if that works. Cause I already use I already got a genuine key that I've used. I've used the um key off the um case. You may know what I'm talking about, that little COA label. If I could show it to you guys if you already know. Yeah, just try, have the I had the key covered up. So yep, let's see if we can be able to activate it. So yep. So we're going to go ahead and choose yes, let's activate Windows. No, we don't want to register with Microsoft. It's going to check for connectivity like it normally does with it being on the internet. Holy crap, it works. I'm surprised you can still activate Windows XP after it's no longer supported. Because ever since April 8th of 2014, you was no longer able to um, get updates and stuff like that for XP. But today is actually April 16th. So yeah, you can still activate Windows XP with no problems when it's no longer supported. So, hope this video helped you guys out and thanks for watching.